hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and in this video i'm going to talk about refine which is a react based ui library which allows us to create applications at a very fast space now if you look at their own website they do talk about the same thing build react based crud applications without constraints now what that does mean is they say that if you are building admin apps, dashboards, storefronts on internal tools, this product will help you definitely. And the reason for the claim is if you look at their whole marketing content, what they are talking about is either you can you know, start from scratch or use a framework of choice or you can do both. And that's where you know, this library shines. It allows you to go headless by design which means you know if you have a ui which is very custom you can do that and still use the basic niceties that the library is providing for example routing your data providers and a quite a few things but if you don't have any reservations with using already existing ui libraries then this refine is definitely going to help you because it allows you to choose from a list of front-end libraries like and design material so on and so forth and this is why i feel this is a very good choice to explore and understand what is the potential and how is it going to save us time so let's get started i'll go to the documentation and in the quick start guide there is a way of creating a new refine app which is a ui based thing you can go to this url select the type of app that you are trying to build go next 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 and it will create a project for you but the one which i like is the more geeky way which is go into the terminal and start doing things so i'll copy this command come over here npx create refine app the latest version hit enter and it will first ask you to choose a template between next.js create react app and remix obviously for this video i'm going to choose next it will ask you for a name let's just name it refine admin and then refine allows you to select from a list of backend services that you would ideally like to connect on top is our rest api then we have the ability to use graphql strapi next.js airtable superbase app ride blah 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 so as you can see the list is quite extensive it's very long and that in itself shows how much care they have taken we will start with the rest one because that's the most common one i would presume and then you get one more question which is do you think that this project is a headless which means you will build your own ui or you want to choose from this list of design libraries and i will say i'll choose and design it will ask you if you want any example pages i don't want them and believe it or not refine comes with some authentication scaffolding as well so as you can see you can choose from auth0 google key cloak or custom but for now i will do none i don't need translation so i can skip that but it is there and i'm assuming refine detected that i have both npm and yarn so it is asking me which dependency manager i want to use i'll go with npm and then yes i want to share choices anonymously and then let us give npm the time for it to download that huge <laughs> node modules folder all right so we have the packages installed let's go inside the folder open it up in vs code and i'll also run npm run dev to start the application on localhost port 3000 all right so we have the welcome page the application is running and we have the code base on opened in vs code as well 
So what next? What we want to do is see how easy it is to create a listing page of posts which is a part of the CRUD. So let's understand how we can do that. Now before we go into that, one thing which you, I would like you to know is although there are quite a few configurations which Refine comes with, one very important thing is it has a fake API REST endpoint which is this. I'll just open it up. So you have these many resources to play around with and we have more than 1000 posts so that's quite a lot to be very honest and we will use it for our demo and there are quite a few things happening inside the underscore app TSX but the one which you should be very um, much aware of is this refine component okay I'll just remove this github banner because this is not something which I want okay so that thing went away and now in the refine component we can define something called as resource which is an object and it takes an array of other objects as well and what we want to do over here is define a resource of our choice the name of the resource will be posts and we can configure the different URLs that resource will have for now I just want to define that the list URL will be on slash posts now this is done what we would also like to do is because it will follow a certain convention we will have a posts folder and inside that we will have our index.tsx we'll create a basic react application sorry a component export this page and now if i go to that url let us type something over here and we can see this is coming so that basically means that I am able to show this component when I'm hitting this route so it was quite straightforward now what else do we want to do because this is definitely not even close to what a po list of posts is now luckily we have a fake API to play around with and because we are using and design we have the ability to show a list okay so I'll import the list from and design and the moment I do it on this page can you see this no data component this is happening because when the list is empty and design will show this now we need to find a way to populate that data and refine comes with a lot of hooks one of them is use table now there is a core component over here which is this use table from core but because we are using the and design library I would use this version and because this is a hook we are going to expect something and that something is table props now already believe me we have done quite a few things I'll show you why because I'll import the table component of ant design I'll pass all the props which I mean all the data which is coming from the hook use table and there is a data key or is it key row key as ID these are the two attributes that I will define in my table component and if I now hit save can you see this table has appeared this is happening because the ant design libraries table component is getting this set of props which is coming from the hook which is provided by the ant design refined version 
so it understands exactly what needs to be done and what are the different parameters required the only thing which we need to configure is these columns so data index in here will be id and the title for that column will be id if i save it now i can see the ids so similar thing i can do for title as post title and maybe i'll do the status as status hit save and as you can see we have already seen a significant improvement in the page we can actually see the data points which are available and if i open up my network tab hit page 2 i can see that actually an ajax call was made we got this response which basically means this pagination is not a ui pagination it is actually making api calls http requests are being sent to get the next set of data so it is performant in a way as well so yes i mean this is what i wanted to cover in this video of refine it's an introductory video where i showed you how easy it is to set up things now this is obviously not the end of this sequence of videos i'm gonna cover a lot more but yeah i wanted to show you how easy it is to set up things let me know what your thoughts are if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon if you have come along so far don't forget to subscribe thanks